Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to create a simple screw. Nothing too exciting, but um, there's gonna be it's gonna be split into two different videos today. The first is the modeling, and then the next is gonna be the texturing. So right now we're gonna focus on the modeling of this uh, screw. So we're gonna begin by creating this basic model here, and then the next we're going to make this little spiral, uh, the threads and then the next is we're gonna make this so let's go ahead and get started so let's go ahead and get rid of that and delete the cube I'm going to start this make it a little bigger get rid of that. now if I hit shift A add mesh I'm gonna go into cylinder and because it's a cylinder that we're working with I'm gonna go in the front view by hitting number one and hit five and I'll put it into orthographic mode now I'm gonna hit tab and actually delete this there's some things I want to do so hit shift A add mesh um, cylinder let's decrease these because we're going to use a subdivider modifier later and we don't need to kill our computer over so many vertices so if we just narrow that down to maybe like 15 or you could even go 14 something on that lines and then first off stay in edit mode go into front and click on this little button right here it, It'll pop up this little thing and say limit selection to visible. Now what that does is it allows me to select all of those. Whereas if I were just to select them now, it only selects the ones that I can see. So that's what happens. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna select all those. I'm gonna make it bigger up here. And I'm going to make this go all the way down here. And then I'm going to extrude a little bit longer. This is, I'm just hitting E to do this. And then I hit S, 0, enter. And I'll create the point at the end. And this screw can be however long as you want it. Um, this one is just a simple screw, so it doesn't take too much. Um, I'm going to select it all. And let's see. I think I'm going to go like this just make it a little bit longer bigger up there so I think that's the basic shape of that part of the screw there's some other things that we can do up here like let's extrude a little bit and then just move it up a little bit and make it smaller and that gives us that little little top edge on that okay cool um, Let's go ahead and get started on the next part. We'll go by. We'll go back and add modifiers later. Um, they just tend to slow down computers, and so if we do it later, it'll keep it a little bit faster for longer. So I'm going to go back into one front view, and I'm going to hit uh, Shift A. I'm going to add a plane. Now the reason why I'm going to do this is this is what we're going to create this part. And so if we add a plane we can go into three the right orthographic mode which you'll see it's flat here um, we're gonna rotate it 90 degrees so now uh, if we go into front view it'll look like it's just flat which is what we want and then we're going to move it over here now I'm gonna teach you something else as well right now so what we need to do is we need to hit let's just say I clicked over here and this little cursor thing got moved uh, it tends to stay in the middle but if you do that hit shift uh, shift s and it'll do snap now we want to do cursor to center now it snaps it to the center now we're gonna hit shift s again and we're gonna do selection to cursor and then it moves the selection here and the reason why we did that is because here in a little bit, or we can do it right now actually, he'll go to modifier tab and hit add modifier and create the uh, look for the screw option right there. It makes it around the origin and we want the origin to be in the center right now because our uh, screw is in the center. Um, now you can see it's on the wrong axis, we can just change that it should be Y axis, that's the one and this doesn't look like what we want it to look like yet and that is because if we go into um, edit mode go by hitting tab we zoom in 
we want this to be closer into the center. So what we need to do is let's just grab it and bring it in here. And let's also uh, make this side smaller because it's going to be almost zero. It's going to be a little. There's a little bit of an edge to it. And then this one we're going to make a lot smaller as well. So now we just created like the little blade part on it. Now we're going to come over here to the modifier section and we're just going to hit screw. And we want the screw to go all the way down here. So we just go down here. It looks a little funky right now, but just bear with me for a second. And we are now going to increase the uh, angle. And you just drag this and you can put as many of those threads as you want. It'll look kind of it looks kind of funky still, but that's when we increase the steps. And you can create this as smooth as you want. Um, obviously the more you have, the slower it's going to be. And here we go. Okay, well now we've just created a little bit of that. I'm gonna move I'm gonna move this down just a little bit. Because the threads don't really start on a screw for a little bit of that. And so I'm gonna decrease that a little bit as well. Now I'm gonna go back into uh, object mode for a second and think. Now we need to let's click it smooth. So it'll create it smooth there. And then what we need to do now is we the, s the threads on a screw, they are big up here for the most part, and then they get smaller at the very end. And so what we're going to do is we're going to hit Shift A, oops, Shift A, uh, and add a curve. Now if you go into edit mode, you can see that the curve is not oriented the right way. If we select everything by hitting A, then we can hit R, 90 degrees, that'll put it in 90 degrees, and then let's hit 3. and you can see that this one, if we go into wireframe mode, you can see the curve's not straight. If we want to make it straight, we just go into this mode that we see that's, that it's made crooked with and hit S, snap it to the, the axis that we wanted to move it on, and hit 0. Boom, it's now straight again. Now we want to drag this down here, and this point, the top one, this is where um, this is going to begin. So we want to position it pretty similar to where the beginning of the threads begin. I'm going to put this down here, and I want the threads to begin to get smaller about this point. And so I'm going to hit E, and I'm going to lock it to the axis by hitting the middle mouse button, and put it near the end of it. It doesn't have to be right at the end, because there's not going to be any threads at the end of the screw. And then I'm going to hit Tab, go into Object Mode, and I'm going to click on the screw, and I'm going to click right here add modifier, deform, curve, and then I'm going to hit bezier curve, and you can see it makes it a little funky, but because it's on the wrong axis, uh, let's see what we got going on here, oh, there we go, <clears throat> so let's see, click on this one, and we can We should be able to go and maybe move this up a little bit. Let's see. You guys think it's through what happened here. If we just hit negative Z, I think that'll do the job. There we go. Okay, so now you can see it's still a little bit not right. But let's just go here in the Bezier curve and try and fix it a little bit. So select them all and move it up. And then I'm going to click on the last one. And I'm going to hit uh, not S. I'm going to go over here, hit N, and it'll bring up this little um, new tab over here. And I'm going to click on the radius. So I'm not going to click on it yet, I guess. I'm going to drag it smaller. And you can see that it makes it smaller. So I'm going to make that up there. I'm going to drag just it down. And I'm going to modify.
modify these now a little bit. And you can just drag them and around. You can actually drag them out here, but wherever the bezier curve goes, your screw, the threads are going to go with it. So we want to make sure it's in the same line as the screw is. And this is, I guess, where where this is beginning. I think it's because the origin is up there. And so that needs to be up there. This, this is where your thread's now going to begin. I put this all the way down to kind of down there. Uh, I want it to be something on that lines where it kind of gets a little bit smaller there like that. So I'm just modifying this. You can edit the bezier curve by clicking on any of these three points. So this point it affects all of the all three of those. But if you do drag this, it will um, just drag that one little point of this. This is the point. This is editing that point, the direction of it. And over here, this is the radius, weight, and tilt. So let's just go ahead and that doesn't look too bad to me. Um, I can tell that our screw is way wide for this size of screw. So I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to make it a lot smaller here. And voila, we now have a pretty decent screw. Okay, um, let's see. Now let's go ahead and I'm trying to think through what we need to do now. Let's go ahead and create the top right now. So if we hit shift A, so we're in object mode now, hit shift A, add mesh uh, cube. We can see that there has been a cube created here. And we want to just position it up here a little bit higher. And we're going to create the cross with it. So I'm going to make it smaller here and wider here. And I'm going to hit shift D, that'll duplicate it. And I'm just going to hit the right mouse button and hit R, 90. And boom. Now we have a cross. <clears throat> now what we're going to do is we're going to click, right click on this object and hit add modifier, boolean, and we're just going to click on this little eyedropper tool and click on object cube. And you can see it got rid of our thing here in this instance. Sometimes these things aren't always reliable right now, but what we can do is we're under operation, it says intersect, we click on that, we can do intersect, union, or difference. Union will almost always uh, combine the objects. Intersect and difference, those are the ones that you switch between to figure out which one you want to keep and which one you want to get rid of, it, pretty much. And so uh, if we just click difference, now you may say nothing really changed, but if we come up here to the top right side and we right click on this, we can see that this is highlighted. If we click on the visibility for all three of those options, then we can see that, okay, it didn't quite do anything yet, but I don't know why. So come over here, I forgot one last thing. So if we go down here to modifier tab again, we need to click carve. And voila, now you can see that it is gone. Make sure that those are turned off for the cube though. You can always turn it back on to edit it later. But that's how that works. Um, I just realized this gets really skinny right here. I'm gonna edit that real quick. Um, kind of move that down a little bit. That's it. And then see. So now I'm going to go back out here and I am going to hit apply on this because that's I'm done with that now. I'm not going to change it. It's centered. Everything's good with it. And so that when I um, oh, actually undo that. Don't apply it yet. You're going to add modifier and do subdivision. 
Um, this has to come first because we need to put it above this. If we put it below, you can see that it messes with the boolean that we just created. So we need to make sure that it's above. And I'm going to probably put mine at 2. Now what we're going to do is go into edit mode and you can see it's like really messed it all up. So we're just going to add some loop cuts to fix it. So I'm going to hit sh control R and if we do this a couple times in here we can create harder edges. So loop cuts are just creating more um, edges. So when we do that it tells the a subsurface modifier exactly uh, what we want it, it to be like. And if we mess up and we click too early, you can always hit G twice and it'll let you edit the, the loop cut. So, uh, and I'm going to come down here. I'm going to make this bigger down here because often the uh, points on a screw are not actually that pointed. Well, they're a little more pointed than that, probably. <laughs> there we go. And voila! Now we're going to hit smooth. And now we have the screw. So you can see up here on the very top, it's kind of messed with that again. And that is because. Um, this is set to smooth, and we don't really want the very top to be set to smooth. So what I'm going to do is go into edit mode, hit alt, and click on this top circle, and it will select just the vertices, it'll just select just that top circle, which is what we want. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit, uh, come over here, we need to go, go to shading or UVs, and go to faces, flat. Now if we hit tab, it's fixed. So now let's see, is there anything else that we need to do to our screw in the modeling section? Um, let me see. I think we're good. I think we're good with with that. Um, if you have any questions, you can put some links in the comments. Or you can put comments down below. Um, I'm just going to leave a link right here for the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video and we hope that you enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned for the uh, texturing tutorial. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Mm,